Well, back here, it's certainly a chilly day, but still summer. However, some places are actually already getting ready for winter. Oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> Northern New York reporter Isabella Colello shows us how Lewis County is preparing. While soaking up the last of summer, Lewis County is already looking ahead to winter. Last year was the first year that we did uh, a warming center kind of in Lewis County. And so we kind of, at the last minute, um, had some great partners come together to do something. And this year we just felt um, due to the cost and stuff like that, it was our due diligence to uh, put out an RFP. By state law, each county is required to have a warming center open when the temperature is freezing below 32 degrees. It must have staff, places to sleep, bathrooms, and food. In the cold weather like that, people can really become hypothermic. They can die from uh, being left out in the elements. Uh, we have some pretty um, rugged people in Lewis County that are kind of afraid to ask for help. And so having this location where they can just report to with really no questions asked uh, is, is an option for people. Our homeless tend to be a bit more invisible than in the urban centers because they're in a tent someplace out in the woods. But we have ways to get people to the warming center, even from the furthest parts of the county. With Lowville, the preferred location, the county says that businesses and organizations can split up the work at the warming center. One could provide the facility and another could provide the staff. That way, when it's time to get out your winter gear, everyone will be ready. As you know, in the North Country, weather can change fast, and if we get below the 32 degrees, we can in October, we want to be ready. Proposals for the warming center will be accepted into next week. Reporting from Lowville, I'm Isabella Colello.